Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another what's in your energy spread for you all. This might be a love read. They're telling me it might be an energy. I'm not sure it loves anymore. I'm trying to <laughs> decipher what it is, but they just keep switching it up. Spirit keeps switching it up. So let's see what we got going on. Virgos. Hope every <sighs> this one wants to go first. I'm getting crazy stalker obsession. I'm just getting obsession, 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 obsession. <sighs> I'm getting aggravated. I'm getting irritated. And I actually had a really pretty good day. As soon as I started shuffling, I got agitated. As soon as I hit record. Let's see what we got going on, Virgos. Again, hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. To book a reading, book a birth chart, um, all that good stuff, lunajadebotanica.com, as well as my Etsy. Everything's in the link below. Please give me, please be patient with me as I'm trying to get to everything. This one wants to come out too, so let's see what we got going on. They're saying right here in the mutual. All right, Virgos. Um, if you want yes or no only questions, my loves, the link is in the description below in the comments uh, for $2. You can do that. Also, I am thinking about doing like a mass cleansing ceremony because damn, I feel heavy energy on everyone right now. Uh, let me know if y'all would be interested. I might drop the link. Um, we could do it maybe. Uh, maybe early next week. I'm going through stuff also, my loves. Um, so if you could just say a small little prayer for me, I would appreciate it. But let's see what we got going on. This bottom half is hot and this top hat is hot, specifically on this Daughter of Pentacles. Um, I do want to start here, even though... Actually, they want me to see what's this, okay? This is really, really hot in your energy. We have Seven of Swords. Y'all know this is the worst card in the freaking deck. Seven of Swords is that lying, cheeky, 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 <laughs> lying. I just heard Ruby. Ruby Ma. Ruby Ma. Ooh, chills. Someone's getting like angry. Someone's starting to hate someone and they don't even hate someone. I'm hearing that Justin Bieber song like, my mama don't like you and she loves everyone or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Somebody's mom, mom, mom. Um, doesn't have to be, could be a motherly figure, but it doesn't even have to be a mother. But someone is getting very scorned. This is the line, sneaky cheating manipulative obsession stalker um gossiper malicious whatever this may be this is whatever you're thinking this is it all right this seven of swords that sly sly little fox i do feel like someone's like trying not to someone's trying not to like uh look bad Someone's trying to hold it in so they don't look bad. See how they're hiding a sword there? Someone's biting their tongue. Someone I feel wants to go off on you or something, Virgo. I feel like somebody wants to tell you off or go off on you or like tell you how they really feel. But there's something like they're like, I don't want to look bad. I don't want to. I don't want Virgo to know or anyone else to know that this that this is bothering me you know we have the emperor here in reverse yeah they want to knock you off your high high horse that they think that you think you're on virgo or something like that like they want to knock you off your throne not because they want it they just want to do that for some reason i'm getting like who do they think they are like this person's like who do they think they are for virgo which is very weird i don't get that this is someone directly in your energy the emperor in reverse is aries energy all right and then we have the five of swords in reverse and we have the ten of wands in reverse um i'm hearing six 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 i don't wait that's scary i just realized what i was saying 
someone's in the devil energy. Someone's in their devil energy. And I'm hearing Libra. I'm hearing Libra. I just heard short, sweet lady. A short, sweet lady. I'm hearing drop the load, which is this ten of wands here. Drop the load. Someone's mad at you for standing up for yourself or someone's mad at you for holding your ground. I'm getting like somebody grabbing a stick and just going right here with this five of swords. Aries energy and Aries has been coming out for you. I'm getting strong like somebody's upset because of the way you make someone they're close to feel. I'm getting a mom and a son loves. I'm getting a mom and a son, but I'm also getting like um like m like mom and spouse or sp father and spouse or something. There's something about like you're not directly connected to this person or you're not directly connected or related to this person. I'm getting strong Gemini energy. I'm getting strong Aries and I'm getting strong Libra. I'm getting so upset with this crystal clear that I keep hearing crystal clear, crystal clear. The seven of swords is talking about this stalker energy, this obsession, this bad mouthing, this ill intentions. And with the emperor in reverse, it's almost like they have no control over what you do. They can't tell you what to do. The emperor in reverse is someone who has no control. They've lost power. They've lost their lifeline or their plug to you, right? You're the plug and they've, they've lost the plug. Like that's what it is. Like I'm getting strong, like a younger vibe, a younger vibe. I don't know why. Like this person acts very what the world did y'all hear that something just fell <gasps> do you know it just fell the cord to my phone they have no lifeline or no plug to you there's no connection to you Virgo this could be like a younger um, a younger vibe a younger person or someone who has a very younger energy very immature very childish very I feel like you're kind of bringing them um, some sort of weird not you bringing them weird energy, but whatever it is that you stood up for, they're kind of regressing back to some weird childish energy is what I'm getting. It's very stalkery. It's very gossipy. It's very unattractive. I'm even hearing unattractive. Um, I'm hearing very brittle. Very brittle. Oh, chills. Brittle. What does that mean? Brittle, brittle, brittle. brittle i know what brittle means but what does it mean in this particular case only y'all would know i'm getting someone with really tough skin someone with really tough skin not 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 as in you can take a tongue lashing someone with really like problematic skin acne or scars or wrinkles or something like something very significant about somebody's skin scars maybe like i'm getting like acne scars or something gosh 
I don't know what this could be, but this person is definitely sort of like losing a little bit of their sanity because they're like, I can't force Virgo to do something. I can't force Virgo to to do what I want them to do because Virgo stood up for themselves and I, I have no control over what they do. For some of you, this involves children. For some of you, this involves a partner, an ex-partner. For some of you, this involves like a job or something. There's something like, I just heard Lisa. Ooh, I heard Lisa. There's something about a job. I'm getting 2017 to 2019 vibes um someone's wondering what you're doing there's some unleft there's some words left unsaid here there's some definitely some grr energy but i need to make face because i need virgo right now there's something strange about somebody wanting you to do what they want or to do what they ask or they need you to do something or they're they're wishing you would do something okay this five of swords is here this is someone from your past that's already you you have a burnt bridge with someone you've burnt a bridge or um you've cut ties with someone i'm not getting this is love loves i'm not getting this is love i'm getting this may be connected to some sort of lover you've had in the past but i'm getting more strongly this is someone connected to you by some sort of third party whether this be an ex's mom whether this be like a stepmom a stepdad whether this be like an old boss i'm getting strong like your children's grandmother or grandfather or something there's definitely or perhaps your mom yeah your mom or your grandma something like that there is definitely something about the five of swords talks about something from the past coming back when it's in reverse like this a burnt bridge or something you severed a connection that you severed the plug that you unplugged needs to be put back in all right they're coming back to see if there's still electricity there or they wish you would plug them back in to see what your lights like what are you doing in the light you know what i mean there's something about somebody's in a bind somebody's stuck or in a bind and you can make it better and you don't want to and they want you to all right, that Ten of Wands is here. It's like there's there's a lot of baggage or a lot of burden or a lot of rough strife that came from whoever, whatever this is. I'm getting House of Wax. I don't know why I just heard that House of Wax. And then I'm also seeing, y'all remember in The Lion King when they're at the elephant graveyard and Simba is coming out of like all the sticks being chased by the hyenas? I just heard Adele or Adela. Adele. No, I'm hearing Adele. The name Adele. Adelina, maybe. That Ten of Wands is like, you walked away. You ran away. You were running away from this situation because it's no good. And you maybe left and never returned. And that's why they're like, they want you to return. There's something strange about somebody wanting you for help or it'll make their life easier if you would just comply with what they want and for some of you for some of you it's like they want for some of you that are resonating with like a, an ex mother-in-law or something like that they want you to be with their daughter or their son because it makes their life easier if it's an old boss they want you to come back and fix the mess because they don't know how to fix whatever's going on in the workplace if it is a I just heard the birthdays don't match. The birthdays don't match. If it is a um, your family, for some reason they want control over you, and they don't. They don't have it. For some of you, there's also a side person. There's a side person kind of thinking that you want their place. Why are you trying to take my place? Like. I took your place. Don't come back trying to take my place. I'm getting this is like a weird energy. 
someone thinks you want their man or someone thinks you want their lady or someone thinks that you want their job like and I don't even see you focused on that at all but there's some weird energy like they think that you they think they're important to you and they're not I don't see that at all Virgo over here in someone you don't even know is watching your 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 uh, social media you don't even know this person and they're watching your social media like a hawk like a hawk and it might just be a mistake or something i don't know what it is i just heard krishan krishan Somebody that you never gave a chance to wants to is watching your stuff like a hawk. I'm getting that too. Over here in the surrounding energy, page of wands in reverse, page of pentacles in reverse, eight of swords in reverse, no upright, and then the page of cups, a lot of pages. There definitely has something to do with children for some of you. A lot of immature energy, a lot of premature energy, a lot of lost stagnant energy. Lack of motion, lack of action, lack of communication. Someone, whoever this is, someone has to play nice, Virgo. They want to go off on you, but someone has to play nice. Someone's pregnant. Someone's pregnant. That's what I heard. Someone's pregnant. For some of you, it's possibly you may be expecting sooner. This person may be expecting sooner something and they have to play nice because even though they might not get along with you, they have to play nice. Or perhaps this is what they thought of you at some point in time if you're relating to this as a mother or father of your child. I'm just getting a whole fake, fake, fake energy. Fake smiles, fake compliments, fake communication, fake. A whole family of fake is what I'm hearing. And if this is a workplace, this is a workplace family of fake. <laughs> We have to play nice because we desperately need Virgo. We, it's like they can't tell you what to do. So they're trying to like be nice. So you just do it. And I think that maybe maybe some of you did. Maybe some of you were respectful and played nice. But now you're not playing. You're not. Son of Wands and Daughter of Pentacles. It's like there is definitely someone who is very lost or something or there is a lack of action or motion or movement or forwardness um, in anything. I feel strong like uh, Virgo. I feel strong. This is what I'm getting that you exited a situation, whether this be a relationship, moving, removing yourself from a family or removing yourself from a place of work. You left the situation, exited yourself. You said, no, 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 this is pulling me out of character. I am digressing in my growth, in my ascension, in my journey. I cannot do this. And when you removed yourself, that that job, that, that boss, that relationship, whatever it is to you, they became lost, they became stuck, and there was no forward growth within them. They found themselves in a bind, okay? And with the Eight of Swords here, now they have no other choice. They're between, they're, they're surrounded by problems or they're surrounded by just conflict. The Eight of Swords talks about being stuck, being trapped, being stuck between a rock and a hard place, right? This is like, I'm seeing Lion King for some reason. Could be uncle, family related, like father, uncle. I just heard someone knows something. Someone knows something. Someone knows something. And I'm hearing someone has to pay or someone has to speak up. Ooh. So someone has to pay up? Someone has to take the wrath, Virgo, because they know there's something up with you. You're not going to come. 
just completely, I don't want to say, you're going to come locked and loaded, right? That's what I'm getting. You're going to come locked and loaded. And someone doesn't want to be the front, the front line man, <laughs> but someone's going to have to do that. Someone's going to call you or talk to you or reach out to you about this. And it's almost like they don't want to beg, but they're not going to take, they can't accept no for an answer. They need you for whatever this is. They need assistance. They need help. They need, they can't do this, whatever it is without you or something. With this eight of swords, they're in between a rock and a hard place. And as much as they don't want to, they have to. I'm seeing Jeepers Creepers 2 where that demon thing is stuck in the bus and they have to go around it. It's like they have no other choice. They need to pass through whatever this is. Like, speak your piece. Let's get, let's put water under the bridge or whatever and cross it because I really need your help with this. All right, this Daughter of Cups is here. The Daughter of Cups is um, the Page of Cups. It's like, my bad, you know, truce. <laughs> like, can we call a truce and start fresh? It's a very beginning beginning energy premature energy the start of an energy cups is an apology cups is a like an olive branch or an olive tree whatever it is what olive branch um i just heard somebody getting mad like a sign of peace <laughs> like like are you kidding me after everything somebody wants to make amends but my loves there is some reason behind it. It benefits them in some way, shape, or form. They need you for something. They need you for something. I do feel strongly like we're getting swords, swords. I'm getting if it's work, someone's losing a lot of money. Someone's running the company underground. They need help. Okay? But for others of you, someone needs help with some sort of family situation whether it be you dated or were married or have kids with someone they are related to or connected to, or I'm getting so strong, like someone wants you back to help them, whether that be back with their, their, I don't know, relative, or a boss wants you back in the company because they need help. So that's strongly what I'm getting. This mutual energy is like really... <laughs> really calling out to me so let's see what we got over here in the mutual we have taurus the hierophant mother of pentacles in reverse and the strength uh, an apology the seven of cups and the son of pentacles you see how it's son daughter daughter son mother this has to do with some sort of premature energy. Maybe somebody made a decision on a whim and it was a bad one. Um, or literally, like quite literally, this is someone's mom or dad or grandma or your mom or grandma or something. I keep getting Lion King references and look, there's that lion. Leo energy could possibly be Leo energy. I just heard Leobra, Leobra, <laughs> Leo and Libra is energy I'm getting for some reason. And I saw the Libra over here. Damn, I wonder what this is about. I can't put my finger on it is what I'm hearing. I, like I'm putting it on this and I can't put my finger on this. Let's clarify that here in a bit. And look at what's under the deck, my loves. Mother, 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 son, son, daughter, daughter. Hierophant, a relationship, a marriage, or a boss. My loves. Craziness. Crazy. Like, I can't make up some of this stuff. Um, any of this stuff, really. <laughs> the Hierophant. This has to do with either, again, a relationship, a connection, or a boss. Coming back like, hey, you want the key back? <laughs> you want the key to my heart back? Or you want the key to the freaking office or something there's someone that's going to like it's gonna kill them to apologize not literally but it's gonna like 
oh, like they're forcing the words to come out of their mouth, like to apologize or to reach out or to speak to you. I'm getting strong. Someone owes you money, loves. Very, very strong feeling. Someone owes you money. Especially, I'm getting a weird feeling on the right side of my whole body, from my head all the way down to my fingertips. All right, someone owes you money. Or I'm hearing it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. I'm seeing CM or MC. So crazy, loves, because I'm in New Mexico and I was about to say lightning bolt. And last night we had lightning and today we have lightning when y'all know this is the freaking desert. It's raining on someone for sure. Someone's parade is getting rained on <laughs> quite literally because they have to reach out to you. They're embarrassed. They're embarrassed to even ask this or to say anything. But I do feel there is some sort of, I'm sorry, can we start over? Or I'm sorry, can we fix this because I need help? Some sort of thing, okay? Mother of Pentacles in reverse and the strength. I just heard mother doesn't know best. <laughs> mother doesn't always know best. The mother of Pentacles in reverse and the strength, Leo energy. All right, this is Virgo energy. This is Virgo in reverse this is like you not putting your attention communication lifestyle around something or someone like this is something like you just didn't want anything to do with you don't have anything to do with you don't put your energy towards it your thoughts don't stray there i don't have the time but someone or something is pulling all their strength together to look a white rose my favorite a white rose is rebirth transformation can we start over? Can we start over? This could have to do with a relationship about something or someone. There is definitely something who, someone who wants a new beginning, but there's some sort of hidden motive. I'm hearing 4th of July weekend or 4th of July, right before the 4th of July is what I'm hearing. With the Eight of Cups... And the son of pentacles no seven this is seven seven of cups and the son of pentacles this talks about someone being very confused on how to start this someone very confused on how to reach out someone very in their head thinking of different options different ways different methods to use when they extend an offer and that's all i keep hearing is my bad my bad my bad, my bad. And under the deck, again, the mother of wands. The mother of wands is someone who is trying to take action, someone who is going forward and moving things. Um, could definitely be a mother. Look at how she's protecting the eggs. Someone who's trying to protect their, their position, their family. With the Ace of Pentacles, they are going to come for some reason. They're going to appear in your energy. They're going to call. They're going to reach out, email. Facebook, I'm getting strong Facebook energy, strong Facebook energy. I don't like that. And it's like, this is still super hot. This five of swords and this 10 of wands. They want me to clarify that. And look, the magician, more Taurus energy. And the father of swords, they are manifesting some sort of positive outcome when it comes to this communication, but they are dreading it. If you could believe that, show me give me a clarifying card for this because y'all want me to know what's going on there the two of wands and the two of cups i keep hearing sharon 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 two 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 the two of wands and the two of cups this could deal with two of those different scenarios it, you could be resonating with two different scenarios here um the two of wands this talks about my loves, um, someone making up their mind, like, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I have to do. I just got to do it. I have to make peace. I have to, I have to come back, right? They are trying to make amends and reunify with you or reunite. I feel like... 
The mother is at the bottom again after I just shuffled. The world in reverse Sagittarius. This has been long and done and over with. What is that seven of swords right there? The fool, more Aries energy. Again, I think someone made a hasty decision. This could be an Aries. Or this has to do with a child. Their child, your child, something. They want to talk. They want to talk. And look at that snake is by they're biting their tongue now, but they know they have to do it because they're in a bind. The hanged man. What in the world and who is this for you, Virgo? Let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you. Um, let's get some quick moon messages before I got to go. Loves, I'm going to do another love read. And then I think I'm going to take a little break for a few days. I'm going through something um, that, that I need to take the time. I need to take the time to figure things out or at least to, you know, process some stuff. So I'll do another one of these, post it tomorrow and Friday, and then I will see y'all Monday. Okay, so I fall apart. Someone's like, uh, they wouldn't do this unless they absolutely had to. Something's falling apart for this person. Glow up. Yeah. They're like, ah. Virgo knows like I know they can kind of bring up whatever I need them to do they they know your energy tunnel vision um whatever this is I'm getting constricted energy like I'm getting snake eating a mouse and the mouse you've seen you've seen everything through the mouse's point of view like just going through the snake <laughs> the snake stomach or whatever they have I, I think they're going to really try to zone out of whatever you say or however you respond. They're going to try to put their feelings aside and put their needs first. And for some reason, they need you. Let me love you forever. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Virgos. What do they need Virgo for? The Father of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands. They need your help with either money or with a person. Someone who is lost, you can help them out of a funk or help them out of a depression or help them something. If this is work, someone who's losing a lot of money and you can bring them back upright in the positives, not the negatives. Someone's really getting, I don't want to say scolded. Someone might be getting scolded, but I also feel strongly like this is Look, they they want something to go up, right? They want you to turn things around for them. They need your help doing it because they're they're lost. You're I don't want to say it like this, but you're like the last resort for goal. <laughs> like they really didn't want to do this, but they have to reach out to you for something, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Let's see what the angels have to say. Opportunity and change again. I feel like, look at, there's that olive branch, like, my bad, my bad. I just heard, can we be family? Can we be family again? Blessings and abundance, okay? This is something very strange coming to you in a weird way. It's going to close out some stuff. There's some closure here that can be had regardless of what you decide, Virgo. This is going to bring you closer, closure, therefore bring you abundance. Um, forgiveness and understanding. <gasps> I think you're going to hear whoever this is out, Virgo. I think you're going to hear him out for a little bit, okay? Look at romance and connections. For some of you, this is about a partner. Someone's like evil mom or stepmom is going to be like, hey, my bad. My bad. <laughs> Mother, again, father and God. There's going to be some sort of blessing here. Regardless, like if someone gave you a hard time, they're going through it. Yeah, just have compassion, my loves. Remember, Saturn is about to go retrograde this weekend. Saturn rules karma, restrictions, limitations, the teeth, the bones, and it's going backwards in retrograde. All right, these are the loose ends that are being tied up and brought to closure for when it goes back into forward motion in November. This is very much so a reap what you mother effing so energy, okay? Whatever this is, whoever this is, use compassion, my loves. Use compassion. It's good juju on you, and it's just good for you to not even let it bother you, okay? 
that is what I'm sending you, my loves. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always stay on you. I love you so much. I will talk to you soon.